Dad's Home Plus. Apparently the hardest challenge ever in the Binding of Isaac to exist. I don't know what any of these enemies do, which is going to be kind of detrimental to me because it's Fiendfolio enemies, right? Every single room that we go to uh, will have these enemies now and it will be like exponential. I'm sure you can already pick up on the pattern. The moment I walk in the, what, the next room, <laughs> here you go. And I can tell that immediately this is going to be impossible. How do you do this? Excuse me? I mean, I you actually talk. Ah, oh, okay. I mean, peeper's so worth. I don't want to spend a bomb, but we have to. Oh, it also happens when you walk back through rooms. Okay, did not know. Challenge received. Understood. I gotta remember every single room, especially ones I have not been to, just are always going to have enemies. This is so, this is an impossible challenge. Are you kidding me? And now there's this gonna be there's a worm dude. He's gonna come after me on the next room as well. This seems impossible. What is this pill? It looks new. Gulp. I gulp to nothing. Okay. So you're telling me that this room, <laughs> this room is going to have all of those enemies. That's it. No, that's impossible. Uh, is the strat like the, it, I, I imagine the strategy is just get a good starting item. I'm curious. I don't know if it, it carries over to next floors. Hold on. Let, let's try this out. I need to I need to practice. What the hell is that? I need to test some things if we're going to try and beat this rubber bullets. Luck affected chance to fire bullet tears that inflict enemies with bruising. Bruised enemies take bonus damage. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do, I don't think this is a good idea usually, but I'm going to go right away to fight the boss. We have minimal enemies. I want to see if this carries over. Like these three little gaper dudes that are walking around, are they going to persist to the next floor? Or is it, I, I, I do, is there like a fighting chance here? Because I only have to get to mob, right? Apparently. Do the bruises stack? Yeah, so apparently the more stacks you get on the bruises, the more bonus damage you get, right? So you want to land multiple in a row. Of course, a lot of that is luck dependent. I don't have high luck, we just started. This is a Gemini B-like moment. Thank you, finally. Golem's Orb. Just good stats overall? Yeah, sure, thank you. Ah, uh, see, now, like, th there's no point for me exploring, right? I just go and hopefully those maws are gone. Otherwise, this is literally impossible. Okay, please. No, oh my, I want the boss too? <laughs> are you trying to, like, make me die here? I can't handle that kind of pressure. I mean, I guess we're going for it. I, I will absolutely try. Whatever, I'll try. I'll give it my best shot. Whatever. I'm hard committing to this run specifically. It's gonna be rough, but we'll try. I will now be the number one Gemini fighter. No one will ever be able to fight Gemini better than I can. They've gone and added more enemies and spiders to the mix, so to say this is impossible, I think is an understatement. How are you actually supposed to do this? I'm curious. Like, there's only so many, like, swerves and dodges and, like, enemy manipulation to go in the direction I want that I can do, right? before there's just too many enemies, no more space to work with. Oh, we have so many stacks. We have the Giga stack. <gasps> That's what we need, dude. We need luck. You saw how much damage I stacked on him? That was insane. I'm starting to believe this is a challenge that is not meant to be beaten. <laughs> I just... Oh, you're going to play a funny song. The goofy, goofy, uh, goober clown song. Uh, I mean, that makes sense. You know, I, I do be on my clown activity most of the time. Alright, well, I'll, I'll give it a proper shot. We'll give it a proper shot. Guys, I beat Dad's Home Plus as Tainted Laws. <laughs> that, whoever ends up doing that one day, one day in the Isaac Sphere, they, uh, they're they actually declared God, by the way. I, I don't I don't care what you say. They're actually just God if they can do that one. Treasure Room Gaming. Quince. Is Quince worth it? Quince could be good, no? Well, Quince has a... No, Quince has a, a, a max cap, right? Quince goes up to five per... Uh, I don't think so. Razor blade, no. No, no, no. Go curse rooms two forehead. I mean, you're actually right for that. Oh no, three black flies. What will I do? Vanishing twin. No, see that lady? Don't do that to me. <laughs> How would that even work? I don't want to know. What is that? Whoa, time itself? Guys, Isaac Universal Power Scaling. Has a chance to fire multi-Euclidean tears. What dimension are we going to? Enemies that are multi-Euclidean can be shot through doubling tiers. I mean, it sounds awesome. I'll try it. Will it be the game changer? Probably not. I haven't even shot one. I don't know how good it is. It's terrible. It's not even that good. Oh, it's that. Nah, that's not good. They're sick, but it's literally just multi-dimensional, baby. The item you need when trying to do a, a challenge like this is basically like top three items in the game. It's it's absurd. Ooh, that's this is one of those good items that we could maybe use here. Hold on. It depends on how fast things die, right? Like this could start chain reactions that are crazy. Finding black flies are super useful because they're easy to kill in one shot. You know, I just go for the black fly and then maybe we get a little bit of uh, chain reactions going. I can see something like this working. Uh, what kind of enemy is that? 
Never mind, this is terrible. Let's be real. Ghost Pepper. Uh, I don't know, dude. I just need something that's like immediately good. Even just a base damage up, I'll work with. I just need something. Wait a second, what? Is this not godly for me? What is this? Wait. This makes it so all the enemies with the lowest HP in the room explode into bullets. Huh. Okay. Okay. Now, the problem with this is it's active every two rooms, right? So it's not going to be the craziest. But am I coping? Guys, am I coping? <laughs> Tell me right now. Am I coping? I, I press R, yes or no. It's got to be good. <laughs> not going to work. We cannot work with that. Not here. Oh! Do I do it? The simple damage up? Let's go for it. Let's go. One big, just juicy play. We go for it. Uh, worst thing about this is we have a seven mile trek to the boss room. So by the time we get there, every enemy in the world will be fighting me. But you know what? Damage is damage. That's what I want. Can I destroy this thing? Or is it just going to be a tantalizing little devious bugger around me? Get out of here. <laughs> Emperor. Whoa. Probably not a good idea. Because <laughs> that would give me an extra boss, right? Oh. Oh, oh, it's it's not possible, boys. <laughs> this is not possible. Okay, has anyone actually beaten it? Has anyone actually beaten it? And is it actually possible? Because I don't see it. I, I don't see it. Where, where's the gameplay win? Huts. H Huts beat it? What do you do? Did I? The challenge changes after floor two. Wait, there's a little bit of like hope you're saying? You're telling me there's hope? You have to beat floor two. Oh, I don't have to get to mom? Wait, you've just given me newfound hope. This is absurdly easy of a challenge. Hold on. This challenge is absurdly easy. It's a joke. I got it. We're good. We go with the dead eye and we just win the game right now. This will be the run. I'll, I'll dedicate my time to this run. I really should not be walking into places I don't care about. <laughs> this is also life advice, like in general. We have to make sure that I am hitting every single one of my shots. I do not miss a single one. I need to keep the seven damage for as long as I can. I can't believe I forgot how dad's home works. I, 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 I'm telling you, you just can't go exploring places you don't know. It's not safe. This guy's got the moves. He's dodging me. All right, here we go. Uh, no world in any timeline did I not get hit there. I am a dimensional being. Holy moly. I feel like a god. What are we doing? Breaking this open? I don't know how this works. Oh, cool. That's a cool concept. I like that. Oh, it's pretty scary, right? Doing this challenge. You have a feeling I'm going to die next floor. I have a feeling I'm going to prove you wrong. Quick, find an escape route right away. What is this? Okay, it's more beatable than the other ones we've done, though. Hold on. It's not It's not terrible. Oh, my God. Guys, I, I've never been so scared of Larry Jr. in my life. <laughs> Okay, we did it. We did it. We even got a tears up. We got a base tears up. I just a good thing to find. We ah! I wanted to go back and get the heart. No, you don't understand. Please. <laughs> oh, what an what an idiot. Oh no. <laughs> I pressed tab. Oh, there's a half a heart. Brain neuron switch. At that point, I'm already long gone. You cannot save me. There's nothing you can do. I am locked into getting that half a heart. The environment around me does not exist anymore. Oh man, now I can see my secret rooms, hell yeah. So, uh, I will remind myself constantly, the main goal is to just book it to boss. No time, no time to waste. Knife is in a treasure room pool, right? I mean, in theory, we could get a knife. That is GG, 100%. Knife will carry the game. Bam. No. <laughs> I should probably just be waiting until I get a treasure room right next to me, right? It feels like doing the fighting is also pretty detrimental if I'm going in one direction for the treasure room, right? Because it's like, I'm fighting to get to the treasure room. I get to the treasure room. Then I need to back up to go to the boss. So I should just start with here. I get that certificate. I, I win the game. Holy. Is this challenge just giga hard mode? I'm pretty sure, like, effectively, yeah. It is basically just giga hard mode. Like, this situation, I, there's no point in me going left. Because by the time I go left, I get an item. You know, I get, like, a whatever item. I still have to go back the same way. I, it's just, it's, it's tough. Tough challenge. What the hell is that? Is that a button? That's a D2? Damn, they really <laughs> they made a circle. <laughs> it kind of looks like me. Am I winning? I'm failing. What's that? Sarvish for it spawns a random heart pickup. Terrible. Just like normal reheated pizza. Do you guys actually like reheated pizza? For me, it's like it depends on how you reheat it. If you're able to get a toaster, it's good. Air fried pizza. That yeah, you see you're now you're you're speaking my language. Cold pizza. Now that's what I wanted to know. Who out here actually likes cold pizza? And what kind of uh, life events did you have to go down to lead you down that butterfly of a path? I want one really just strong attempt. 
Just like my one big attempt. I got my two like freebies, like haha, whatever. That's just not good enough. I don't know, nah, it's just not good enough. But now I want my like, okay, go. Try and win. You know what I mean? Ba -ba -ba -bum. Ooh, that guy's definitely gonna live. Planetarium? <laughs> Is planetarium worth it? Just just because it's funny? Nah, look how big this entire room is. The floor is so big. We're just gonna encounter the same enemies so many times. Oh, hey, oh, hello. Give me a key. Ah! XL? Wait, you can get XL? Wait, what? You can get XL? Wait, hold on. Oh my god, they got Rock Bottom's cousin in here? <laughs> you're telling me I gotta get to floor two, right? Basement two, and I can have XL. So you're telling me if I just get an XL floor and beat it, we win? Hold the phone, I can actually beat this. Okay, well new strat found. We have to wait for XL. XL is our like, win condition, right? Every XL we find, we have to participate in. Why didn't I hug him? You're right, I should have. Sorry. XL is necessary. I don't. I feel like XL would just the. It would make it so much easier. <laughs> I just feel like it would. Is there like a lower chance for XL because they know it makes it easier, or am I just unlucky? What am I trying to get? I'm trying to get to the end of the game. There we go. We have an XL floor, and it's probably the longest path I've ever seen to a single boss fight in my entire life. <laughs> Are you kidding? What the hell is that? <laughs> oh boy, eyesore, I'm saved. Well, there are no enemies here. Hold on. Wait a second. Give it a minute. I see Lemon Mishap. This is the game changer right here. But then I get- I, I, I find the secret room, right? I find the secret room and it has an Emperor card and I just have to fight, what, like five hoppers and two bosses? Done. Game beaten. Sub, yeah, sub challenge, idiot. <laughs> This could have a small rock. I think this is the most likely thing I gotta go for here. Uh, that is highly unfortunate. This is a video game moment, for sure, for sure. Nickels, useful. I will be able to visit my shop, I guess, at the very least. I, this is basement one, that's the thing. These are not those annoying, god-awful fiend folio cellar and honeycomb area enemies, right? This is basement. There's gonna be a lot, but it, in theory, is maybe even possible. Unless I was lied to, and uh, you don't have to beat it at floor two, at which case I will literally cry, actually, like straight up. That was the biggest lemon mishap play I've ever made. Still have not been hit either. Those last two rooms, right under the big room, those are gonna be absolute hell, dude. They're guaranteed damage. That's the unfortunate fact, they really are. I can't go to the shop, I realize, because there's gonna be so many enemies in such a short area, like a small area. It's way too confined. I have no idea how I'm going to do this room in a smaller room about 30 seconds from now with more enemies. Let alone the three rooms afterwards. I have no clue. I'll try it though. Whoa! Oh, bad damage. That sucks. That's right. We do have lemon mishap. Oh, I'm throwing. That sucks. I don't have to kill that guy? Why is that guy? I hate that guy. That guy sucks. Why did that guy exist then? Riddle me that. I'm already dead. It's so hard. It's so hard. Okay, but we actually... We got close. That's the thing. That's the thing. Oh, room time limit. All we need is another XL and a better start than that, right? Because that was kind of a uh, like a poop start. Let's be real here. Anti soft lock. Oh, that's why it. Oh, I guess I didn't get the room clear, huh? That could be a strategy, honestly. <laughs> Just nod leaf your way out. I'm always gonna check the treasure room, even if it's not XL. Right? Just because it's worth. But, uh, oh, here you go. I'll hug him. There you go, guys. It's just tough, right? I really want XL more than anything. Beat floor two. Make dad proud. Am I? Oh, yeah, I am blind. You're right. Oh, no, that's not that good. That's not that good, no. You would think it is, right? But the way I believe infestation two works is if a spider kills an enemy, you don't get another spider, right? So only when the enemies that you kill. So then it becomes pretty useless. Is there a time limit for this? What? No. Why would there be a time limit? I'm just playing Isaac. <laughs> I just play, I, I don't know, until I get bored or I, I decide I can't beat it. And then I'll, I'll go play Payday 3 because I have it installed. Until I decide like, oh man, I, I just don't want to try holding R for the rest of my entire lifetime and be an old man. And then I'll be like, okay, well, whatever, Payday. Payday 3 is out. No, I have the, I got like the super duper, like you should never ever buy this expansion. So I get like uh, three days early access. Is it possible to use the secret room as a shortcut? I mean, in theory, yeah, right? Like I could do this. Oh, death certificate. Could you imagine? Oh my God. I guess I should be doing that for min maxing. But some, some secret rooms like that, they have enemies, right? It's like, okay, well, then I had no point in doing it, but I should be doing this. This is good because this, actually gives you a lot of, uh, like a bit of a difference. Like every time I feel like I'm close to the secret room, I can just bomb it. I mean, I have mapping every single time, right? That one of the worst jokes you've ever pulled on me video game. Like one of these will be death certificate at some point. Could you imagine? <laughs> if you try for long enough, that's what I'm saying. Technically, if I just go long enough, eventually 
I'll get a W. That's really good, but too too long to charge. You guys hear the secret room? <laughs> that was like half of a single note of the secret room song. It went. Burp. What is that? My card. This in, this type of decision intends that I, like I understand what these cards do. Cool. What the hell? He's broken. Is he only for a room though? What the hell? This guy's broken. Go kill them all. Wait, this guy's nasty. Hold on. Hurry up, hurry up. Kill them all. He's not done, is he? Keep going. Oh my god. I gotta help him out. We're not taking Wiz. No, 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 no. Oh my god. What is this? He is so broken. Hurry up. Do you go to do you go to the next floor? Hold on. Wait a second. He's with me. Just keep keep fighting. Keep fighting the good fight. You're him. Oh, he's dead guys. It's over. It's so over. Oh, it's so over. It's so over. Oh my god That was so broken though. If only I had known. I don't know I, I feel like even if I had known I wouldn't have been able to do it to be honest with you <laughs> I don't even know if I want to continue that. Yeah, no, it's, it's over. That sucks Like okay, like imagine I have that card on an XL done. We win. That's literally it. Oh Guys, what do I do? I think I go for treasures. They're so close. I mean, it's two rooms. It can't be that bad, right? Maybe the worst decision I've ever had in a single Isaac game in my life. Oh my god, it's over. Oh, it sucks the- Ah! The treasure rooms and the bosses were separated. Common Cold's okay. A Common Cold's genuinely good. It can get us somewhere. Like, hitting a single poison shot and just, like, stalling it out. Like, I'm super down. That's good. It's tiny, but it is a bit of damage. There's no denying. You create far too many of these wisps, and you might be the worst enemy I've ever come across. Does that count as a tinted? This is tinted, huh? This is a tinted rock, Rafine Folio. I'm learning! Was there just no enemies here? Oh my god, there weren't. Super lucky. Uh, tears up! Tears up! Tears up! Actually, tears up. Not bad. It's, it's a very average good run, but it's actually possible. That's all I really asked for, right? Some decent stats. It's actually winnable. I'm not even kidding. I like how the Fiend Folio enemies go rawr because it reminds me of flash sounds. Okay, it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna get really good at fighting these two very specific enemies. <laughs> but the better I get at it, you know, the faster we're gonna come along. I, like these enemies, such a good rotation. So lucky when it comes to enemies. We're gonna add more now. This is where it gets scary. Don't blow up that up when it's near you. Let's kill this guy because I know how to kill this guy. I'm looking at the left guy while I was killing that guy. He doesn't do anything very special. Hearts. Oh my god. Don't add more. I don't- Oh, they added Claudies. That's pretty bad. But I was able to use cover here. I have to get rid of that Claudie. Now I have to get rid of this, uh, black ghost dude. He's now a fire. Burning up. Dude, the Fiend Folio designs for enemies are so sick. I swear. That key's inside the rock? Okay, just kidding. I- I- <laughs> But I wasn't the only person that got optical illusion, right? Like, I, I feel like a dumbass for falling for that. Is this also- Oh my god! My world is shattered! I thought this was just a giant, like, oh my- Okay. Rune. 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 It's offensive rune. An offensive rune. Actually winnable. It's only good for one room. The obvious choice is we use it on the last boss. I'm telling you, I don't- I don't need a lot. Just give me a- ah! A little bit of stats up, I can maybe do it. Don't add too many. Oh, this is- this is fine. Oh! We're lucky? We're so- we're so back? Oh my god, we're so back. Guys, now here's another problem. It's gonna be probably like a Fiend Folio- uh, boss that is super hard and annoying. There's more- no, no, what? <laughs> the biggest plot twist I've ever seen! <laughs> we got a heart back. I have to do this room without, like, folding. And then last room we use Soul of Eve and we clean up. Assuming I wasn't lied to. There's a lot of assumptions we need to make here for this to even work, but let's try. Oh! Oh my god, what a clutch bomb! Oh my lord. <sighs> okay. We have to remember, some of those enemies are very good for us because they actually blow up. And they're clearing waves for us. We gotta find them and kill them. I think they're the weird pale ones. Duke of Flies is a super easy enemy. There you go. Oh! See? What did I say? My man just Gus Fringed! He killed the boss for me! That's the best enemy you could ever come across. The, the biggest plot twist of all that you could have never predicted was you just go to a burning basement and find that enemy and he kills the floor for you. 
Host on toast. Damage and range. Okay. All right. Let's try it. Walk in. It is a new enemy, but we fought them a couple times before. Use this. Hopefully this guy explodes. There you go. We take care of Duke of Flies. I think he has armor on because I think this is a set cutscene. Now the, the Eve's bread, a dead bird will do stuff. There you go. Basically, I just need to do this fight. Oh my god, they demolished him. That was so beautiful. That's it? Oh! Did I really do it? What is this? Orbital. And then, is that it? I did it! Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. Let's go.